Yo, what up, YouTube? This is the boy Alter Tech back again with a new video. In today's video, I want to talk about what device should I use for my daily vlogs. Now, right now, I'm recording with the Panasonic G7. Do let me know down in the comment section what you think about the audio and the video quality. Now, so we have the LG G8, the iPhone XR, we have the Samsung Galaxy S10, we have the OnePlus 7 Pro, and I do have the Pixel 3a XL. So I'm going to give you guys the rundown between all of them real quick. Uh, as for the iPhone XR, the selfie camera, it's just not on par with some of these top smartphones. Um, as for the LG G8, now it's the same thing applies to the LG G8, the selfie camera, the quality isn't there, but it does have some great audio recording. Um, so for the, I'll cross those two out. Now for my third option, it's the Pixel 3a XL. Now the video quality on it is pretty good. Uh, but it's my only gripe with that phone is that the audio files it just when you once you export it It's pretty minuscule and there's some moments where it would just be really really small and then it will just peak really really high I'm not exactly sure why that happens. Maybe it's a software issue I tried holding it in, in certain ways. I made sure I wasn't covering any microphone ports I made sure that the case wasn't covering any microphone ports So um, it's probably just a software issue so I'll cross that one out. So that leads me between the Galaxy S10e or the OnePlus 7 Pro. And with OnePlus, with the 6T, I wasn't really much of a fan when it came to uh, content creation with that device. Uh, with the OnePlus 7 Pro, I really didn't give it much of a chance uh, until like uh, two days ago, where I actually took it out to Liberty State Park and I did a vlog. And honestly, it came out pretty good. Uh, with the, For some reason, most of my viewers, they're not really fond of that. Uh, that beauty effect you know, with the Samsung Galaxy S10 the beauty effect it's very prominent uh, all your scars and everything is your skin is very soft and on top of that uh, with the white balance on your skin tones it's more of a, a, a brighter color um, as for the OnePlus 7 Pro you have the complete opposite you have more detail on your skin number one number two the saturation it, it does tend to oversaturate my skin levels I am brown, so there's been some times where my skin comes out orange, especially on a sunset. Uh, during a sunset, I look pretty much like a, a orange Oompa Loompa. So it is what it is, So, but um, I, I've given it a second chance, and it turns out you know, I've been seeing less of that effect. And so far, the audio has been decent, and the video has been decent. I'll post a, a sample video out soon. As for the Galaxy S10, the thing that made me change my mind about that device is the 4K, I'll explain. With the 4K on the Galaxy S10, um, I was watching my older videos and the quality, it was pretty bad. And I was trying to figure out why, why is the quality not that great, it's 4K. Uh, the reason being is that once you watch a 4K video on YouTube in, in 720 or 1080p, uh, the quality drastically decreases. So that was my problem right there. So, and I realized, I thought to myself, a lot of people, they're not watching my videos in 4K. They're watching my videos in 1080p. They're watching it on their smartphones. They're watching it in 720. Um, not everyone has access to fast internet speeds or they're usually they're not watching my videos at home. Sometimes they're out, out and about. The 1080p quality on the OnePlus 7 Pro is a lot better than the Galaxy S10e when it comes to 1080. And that's perfect. Um, you know, when it comes to detail, you're seeing a lot more detail on my skin. You're seeing a lot more detail in the background with the uh, OnePlus 7 Pro. So um, I'll try to use that maybe when it comes, you know, if, if I don't have my DSLR, I'm probably just gonna, you know, use my OnePlus 7 Pro. Uh, as for the OnePlus 7 Pro, you know, um, hands down, I do recommend it right now. Before I made a video saying why I didn't recommend it because of the, the camera software wasn't there and there were some bugs. I guess they kind of just rushed it a little bit too early. So right now, with all the updates, OnePlus has been hauling ass trying to push these updates out. The camera is phenomenally better. The, the bugs are no longer there. Call quality is excellent. Signal quality is excellent. The battery is not as good as a OnePlus 6T as is expected with a Quad HD display. But uh, keep that in mind, with the Quad HD display, it's just still giving me uh, about a day and a half of use. Uh, with maximum usage, I could definitely get through an entire day, but I would have liked a that wireless charging, being that uh, this phone, uh, the battery capacity isn't as good as a OnePlus 6T. So with the OnePlus 6T, I really didn't uh, care too much about you know having not having wireless charging because the battery life was so so great, especially with the fast charging, it really didn't bother me. 
So um, maybe I wouldn't be surprised if OnePlus actually incorporates wireless charging uh, into the OnePlus 7 Pro T if that does come out. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, some people have been telling me that they're not they don't they're not expecting OnePlus to deliver another device this year, but who knows? Um, in other news, I did get a OnePlus 6T. No, OnePlus 6T. This is an iPhone 6S from Total Wireless. It's a used iPhone, pre-owned, and uh, quite honestly, you know, it looks pretty much freaking brand new. Uh, no scratches, no dents, uh, no markings, nothing. It's in perfect condition. And the performance uh, is actually performing pretty damn good. And the fingerprint sensor has been really damn fast. But uh, in 2019, people, you know, all these, all these phones, I, I have to say, when it comes to battery life, when it comes to the display, when it comes to audio, they all do a great job. I'm talking about the LG G8 S10. OnePlus 7 Pro, the iPhone XS Max. Um, sure, some of them might be a little bit better than the other, but you can't go wrong with the overall uh, picture with all these phones. Um, so uh, it really comes down to what's your specialty, whether it's audio, uh, taking pictures. And if, the thing about the camera system, there isn't one phone out there where I can say it has the best uh, camera when it comes to taking pictures and video. For video, you might wanna go with the iPhone, for photos, you might want to go with the Pixel 3, um, but when it comes to, you know, with multi cameras, telephoto lens, with zooming, you might want to go with the Huawei P30 Pro, or maybe you just like, you're like a Samsung fan, you want a more of an overall experience, you go with the Samsung, or maybe just like performance and speed, you go with the OnePlus, I mean, there's so many choices and, you know, I, I guess it's like all these companies, they're, they're, they're coming close together into a a, a certain pinpoint that that's and that pinpoint it's going to represent the perfect smartphone so everyone's getting closer and closer to that point so in the future you're probably just gonna be um, you know uh, focused on the camera quality because everything else the battery performance everything's gonna be working pretty damn good uh, the only thing you're probably gonna work about worry about is the is the camera performance anyways if you guys have any questions or comments um, if you guys want me to make any more videos on this channel please let me know as for the oneplus 7 pro the camera updates on the new um, it was a 9.5.10 update has been great uh, I made a post on reddit you know showing you guys the differences between the uh, last update and this update uh, there is more detail and colors look a lot better on the pro mode for the oneplus 7 pro this is hands down the fastest phone out there but i'm not saying that your pixel 3a xl is slow i'm not saying your iphone xr is slow i'm just saying that you don't know what you're missing unless you go ahead and try it out and for people who have said that they don't really see a difference in the 90 hertz display uh you gotta use this phone for like use it for like a whole month use it as your primary device and don't even look back on a on another device once that month is up, go ahead, pick up your iPhone XR, and you will definitely see a difference. That's exactly what happened to me. I posted a video of the iPhone XR, like talking about, hey, this display is actually good, but it turns out it wasn't 